Welcome back to another firearm show. How you doing, Chad? Doing well, carrying yourself. I'm doing quite well. Uh, we had a fun day at the range today. We did. We brought out this, uh, you know, this looks like, you know, I don't know, a uh, 50 caliber handgun. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is one scary looking beast, and yet it, it really isn't. Uh, tell us about this. Yeah, this is the Hammerly Model 280. Uh, fires uh, 32 Smith & Wesson wad cutter as well as a uh, 22 long rifle. Uh, we actually took it out with a 32 uh, Smith wad cutter today. Very <laughs> accurate. Very, very accurate. Very accurate. Now, what is a wad cutter? People have heard that phrase, but can you describe what a wad cutter is? It's actually, it would be so much simpler to show you, but basically it looks almost like, the shell actually looks like a, a shotgun slug. You know, it's, it's basically, uh, the bullet doesn't come past the casing. Uh, everything is actually inside the actual casing itself it doesn't protrude so typical bullet it would be on top of the casing this is actually all inside it's all uh, soft lead if you if you think of a nine millimeter cartridge that's cut off at the top that's basically what it looks like that's yeah it is. so if you're familiar with nine millimeter it's not that much different in size i mean it's smaller but it looks like that but it looks like it was just filled Filled with some goop or something at, to the top, yeah. And so it's it's a really weird round, and when you're hitting the targets, we were shooting about 20, 30 feet, and yeah. it was tearing the paper. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the tiny hole that you see. It was it was ripping the yeah, paper. The, that round was actually spinning uh, or rolling. I should say. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to get hit with that. No. So tell us more about this thing. I mean, it is definitely a cool gun. Uh, the nice thing about this is, again, is the fact that you can change the uppers and change calibers. Uh, realistically, I mean, I think we actually reached out as far as uh, 40 feet on the initial one. And I was hitting, uh, I was grouping them like this. And that was the first time I've actually uh, fired this particular pistol. Oh, and we were doing one hand behind the back, one arm out. We yeah, weren't we were. double handing it. And so we're nowhere near the pros that no, no, that, no. Some, some of these people are. So, But this thing fits your hand like a glove. There is just, your hand is just perfect, perfect yes. in this thing. You do not feel like this thing is gonna go anywhere. No, it doesn't. And the charging is this big block up front. So it's a little, little weird if you're used to pulling mm -hmm. the rear. So you're pulling it up, charging it, and it's, it's ready to go. The magazines, uh, they fit flush in here. Mm -hmm. How many rounds? Five on the 32 Smith, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, six on the 22 Long. So, not a lot of ammo, but this is more of, of your your target pistol, not going and plinking out in the desert yeah, or something. Not. You're you're really striving for accuracy with this thing. Definitely. And well, you let me tell you, you get it. Definitely. I mean, I mean, it's a great it's a great gun. I mean, it was uh, one that came out, if I'm not mistaken, in the late 80s, uh, early 90s. And I always wanted one, just never really could float it, and just so happened to be that uh, a trading deal fall, fell in my lap, and here she is. <laughs> Not good for concealed carry. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, Self-defense? Mm, that one's debatable. I don't know. 32 uh, wad cutter. It, it's really debatable. I mean, you could go both ways with that. If it was me, I'd probably say no. Range gun? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is certainly fun. We took some other people out with us today, uh, put them behind it. Everybody was doing really tight groups with it. It is just a blast. It's kind of like a blast from the past type thing. It really know? is. This isn't your modern sporting pistol. This is something specifically designed for that accuracy. And even with uh, the size caliber we were using, there wasn't much recoil at all. No, not at all. Very controllable. You're right back on target, doing really tight groups. It was just funny seeing that the ribs, the ribs in the paper. The paper, yeah, I, I agree. But I mean, we were blasting holes, so it's the accuracy is definitely there. I wish I had the skills to use this thing properly. Well, <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Yeah, how how easy it is it to get those wad cutter rounds? It's actually really easy. I got the last set of 300 from uh, Cheaper Than Dirt. 
you know, had them in a couple of days. Pretty simple. Mm -hmm. You know, and of course, like you said, you can just replace the upper. That's part of the kit. Mm -hmm. So you can use 22 long rifle. Yes. And we didn't do that today. One of these days we've got to do that just to see what this thing's like with 22. Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's going to be a nail driver. Uh, <laughs> looking for something different. Eye-catching. Very. Very eye-catching at the range. i got to give it that. So, uh, again, one more time. What is it that we're looking at? This is the Hammer Lee Model 280. So, thanks for joining us again. Get this thing out on the range. If you can ever get your hands on one, you will love it. We'll catch you next time. Take care.